Dear friends, today is a Good Shepherd Sunday. God is a Good Shepherd. Jesus is a Good Shepherd. Gospel according to John chapter 10 verse 14. The Good Shepherd knows his sheep. The Good Shepherd primary duty is the safety and welfare of the flock. The Good Shepherd leads the sheep to green pastures. The Good Shepherd keeps a watchful eye from eating poisonous plants and falling into dangerous places. The Good Shepherd often lives in the hut or in the tent nearby the sheep pen. The Good Shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. John 10, 11. The Good Shepherd even carry the sheep in his bosom and gently lead those that are with young. As we celebrate Good Shepherd Sunday, let us thank God. Let us thank God for being our Good Shepherd. Let us thank God because he laid down his life for us. In the scripture, God's people are described as sheep. Yes, God is our shepherd and we are his sheep. Many a times we have reflected the qualities of God as a good shepherd. Today, I want to ponder together with you some of the qualities required to be good sheep, required to be good Christian. Let us examine whether we are good sheep, whether we are good Christian, whether we belong to the flock of the good shepherd. I want to reflect with you therefore 10 qualities of good sheep. One, the first quality of good sheep. Good sheep know the shepherd. Gospel of according to John chapter 10 verse 14, Jesus says, My sheep know me. The good sheep will always therefore know the shepherd. Do you know your shepherd? Knowing about God is not enough. We need to know him personally and experience his love and forgiveness in our life. Unless we know him, we cannot belong to him. God has given us shepherds in the church and we must know them and love them too. The point number two, to be good sheep. Good sheep follow the shepherd. John 10, 27. Jesus says, my sheep follow me. The good sheep always follow the shepherd, follow his ways, his styles, his behavior, and imitate him. Am I following my master? Very often, we follow other people rather than Jesus. We follow the crowd, we follow the affluence, the powerful, the popular stars, and even imitate their way of life. We sometimes imitate even bad things and evil things. Right now, let us examine ourselves. Who am I following? Point number three. Good sheep listen to the shepherd. Gospel according to John 10, 27. Jesus says, My sheep listen to my voice. My sheep listen to my voice. Sometimes we listen to so many voices and we fail to listen to the voice of Jesus. We must hear his voice. We must listen to his voice. We need to become familiar with his voice. We must also listen to the voice of the church. We must listen to the teaching of the authority of the church. Because when we listen to the teaching, to the authority of the church, we listen to Jesus. Am I following? Am I listening the voice of my shepherd? If I don't listen to Jesus, 
I don't belong to his flock. Point number four. The good sheep obey the shepherd. The good sheep always obey the shepherd. Obey the commands, instructions of the shepherd. We need to obey Jesus and do what he tells us. We must obey the authority of the church. We must obey the norms and instructions of the church. We need to obey the authority, the Pope, the bishop, bishops, priests, and the leaders of the church. Am I docile and obedient to the church? Am I docile and obedient child of God? Point number five. Good sheep do not go astray from the sheep fall. The good sheep will never, never go astray from the group. The good, the good sheep will always remain in the sheep fall. See, going astray means exposing ourselves to all kinds of dangers, especially spiritual dangers, inviting the wild animals to attack us, Inviting the devil to lead us into bad company, into evil habits. How often do I go away from the sheepfold, away from the church, away from the sacraments, away from the communion of the church? Point number six. Good sheep enter through the sheep shepherd's gate. The good sheep will always enter through the shepherd's gate. Jesus says, I am the gate. Anyone who and anyone enters through me, he will be saved. John 10, 9. Only those who enter through the shepherd's gate will be saved. The gate also symbolizes the church, the community of believers. We are saved by Jesus through the church. Those who enter through the gate will find green pastures, green pastures of happiness, contentment, peace and joy. If we do not go through the gate, through the church, through Jesus, we will definitely miss eternal life. Number seven, good sheep are dependent of the shepherd. Sheep are dependent on the shepherd all the time. Sheep cannot live without the shepherd. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not rely on your own insight. Proverbs 3, 5. So rely on the Lord, trust in the Lord and not on your strength, on your talents, abilities and possessions. Always depend on God. Trust God in good times and in bad times, in failures and in success. We need today tremendous courage and humility to depend on God. Sheep cannot live without shepherd. We cannot live without Jesus. We cannot live without the church. Point number eight. Good sheep will not eat others' field and poisonous plants. The shepherd always keeps a watchful eye so that the sheep will not eat poisonous grass and enter into somebody's field, attack somebody else's garden. Thou shalt not steal is one of the commandments of God. We should not encroach into others' life, others' property, others' right. We also should not indulge and poison ourselves. Our body is the temple of God and therefore we cannot pollute, destroy the temple of God with bad stuff, with intoxicant stuffs. We need self-discipline. Am I a person of the self-discipline and have control over my passions? Proverbs 25, 28 said, A man without self-control is like a city broken into and left without walls. Point number nine. Good sheep allow the shepherd to teach, direct and guide. 
The good sheep will always allow the shepherd to do whatever the shepherd fee, fee, feels best. The good sheep will always allow the shepherd to direct, to guide, and to lead. Because the shepherd's duty is to teach, to direct, and guide the right way. We must allow our shepherds, our good shepherds, to teach us, direct us, and even admonish us so that we will remain in the sheepfold. Quite often we are rebellious. We don't want to be taught and directed. Today we ask ourselves, what kind of person am I? Point number 10. Good sheep is honest and trustworthy. Good sheep is always honest and trustworthy, reliable and sincere committed to one's responsibility and duty. What kind of person am I? Can people trust me? Can my good shepherd trust me? Dear friends, let us individually ponder again upon these 10 qualities. Sometimes we are good sheep of the Lord, sometimes we are not. Some of us have many good qualities or virtues of good Christian life and some have less, whatever. We all need to grow each day to become the best sheep of the Lord. We ask Jesus, our Good Shepherd, to bless us to be good human, good Christian, and good sheep. Let us also pray for more vocation to priesthood today, so that we will have many shepherds 